Today is uh, Monday, March the uh, 18th, 2024. It's about 11.01 a.m. Uh, I'm here at A.D. Simpson Park here in uh, Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County. It's probably in the uh, 1200 block of South uh, Main Street or uh, 105, Highway 105, right across the street from uh, Casey's uh, convenience store. Uh, what I want to show you the danger in this park. Y'all have seen my videos now. I like what they did to the park. They, they fixed it up real good. It, it got a good baseball uh, field that they use. They don't use the one on the black side of town. It's been up. My daughter's never be uh, 18 and 19 and they use it once, I think last year. But other than that, they hadn't used it since my daughter's name was uh, uh, six and seven or five and six years old. But you see how nice this park is? You have kids that be playing uh, baseball on this field. You have kids that be playing here in, in this playground. Now. I done showed the city and I done showed the public. I want to show you the danger now. This is city property here. And when you get to where these trees at, and uh, over the trees in this fence, the majority over that fence is Rodney Jones, who's on the zone committee, a felon who's on the zone committee. He's able to buy all this property. Him and Lester Gillespie, both of them felons, they can, they can buy these property. But I ain't showed the city the danger. Now, either the city or Rodney Jones is responsible with all them dogs that be coming off of his property over there. You see how, can, how they getting in? Somebody had to tear that fence down. James Connor, a squatter, and his girlfriend, Melissa Walker, they live on Rodney's property. We done seen the videos, y'all done seen a day ago with all them dogs in this park. You seen when they was coming and trying to attack me. You see how that fence is towed down? Somebody had to tie that fence down. Look how it's towed down all the way down to the end. That gives the dogs and the squatters access to come off of Rodney Jones' private property to the city property anytime they want them. Anytime they want them. You seen one time I was out here at six o'clock in the morning, minding my own business. Three of the dogs came out of there. The other night, me and the individual was walking to Casey's. And guess what? In this whole park, it was full of dogs. And then you can see where they was going back. They got access. The city got money. Rodney Jones got money to buy all this property. He got a trucking company. He got all this other property that the city letting them buy up. Somebody between Rodney Jones and the city, they should be able to fix this. But what it's going to take when a bunch of white kids playing on this park, and I hate to say it, a bunch of white kids playing on this park, and a bunch of them dogs come out, and one of them get bit like the black folks been getting bit, and I bet you something going to happen. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just keeping it 100% real. This park is dangerous, y'all. Watch your children's. Watch your children's. This park is dangerous. Do you think Rodney, Cotton, Rodney Jones care? Do you think the city care? No, they don't care. Look at this here. All they doing is bringing up taxes on everything, giving themselves raises, underpaying some of the police that's doing their job. But just look at that fence, y'all. First, the squatters was down on the other end on Main and Vine for a long time. Then they started off right here, camping out on this side. It took the city almost a year to get them from out of there. Then they went down on the other end, on Vine and Main Street, stayed over there for a while. They got them up out of there. I got attacked over there. Another individual, uh, one of the police black sergeants, nephew got bit. But I'm just showing y'all the danger in the how the, the disregard of human life. How could we bring our children out here to play when 
won't nothing be done with these squatters. They got multiple dog cases. James Conner even got where he hit somebody with a two by four. But what do the chief Robert Hearns and some of the other white supremacists do? They help to try to get these people someplace to live. But when we have other blacks out here roaming around that have mental illness that may steal a dollar or something out of the dollar store, guess where they put them? In the jail. Now, if James Conner and Melissa Walker was black, <laughs> they'd have been in jail. I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. Let me try to make it back to my car before Rodney Jones or somebody from the city or the dogs come out here and attack, attack me. Peace be still. Now, now, this is where them squatters had landed at. Now, they come from close to downtown, but they brought them away, away from downtown and they let them come on down here. Vine and uh, uh, Main Street. Now, let me show you where they was... They was camping at. This where they was camping at in this thing right here. This trash bin. Uh, and the city was saying that they didn't know who the property belonged to here. The family it used to be the family dollar. The family dollar moved from over here and moved on the other end. But them squatters was living in this bin. I'm talking about it was trash, filth, defecation, everything. Multiple dogs. They bit a few people. They chased me on May the 31st of 2023 when I was coming down here with my scooter, riding in the streets. And four or five of them came running out of there. I fell right there. Good thing some other cars in a van came because the dogs was coming at me. James Connor, the squatter, and his girlfriend, Melissa uh, Walker, they came out of here, got on their bikes, and guess where they went to? They went straight to the projects. My video showed where they went to. They've been doing this here for years, but yet the chief of police and some of the other people, they trying to find them places to stay. They have money. They don't want to stay nowhere because they want them dogs in there. And they let me, they, these two squatters has been dictating. And Robert Hearns has worked. When I go to court against them, Robert Hearns laugh, wink, because he know the judge ain't going to do a damn thing. He know the prosecuting attorney or the city attorney ain't going to do nothing. But see, y'all ain't got to do nothing. Darren Kane didn't do nothing when them people kept on attacking me. He laughed. He wouldn't even talk to me, but he talked to my, my attackers. But look where his ass is at in the damn cemetery right now. Look at that judge that, that falsely convicted me on that case, on that harassment, so-called harassment case with Les Gillespie. Look, the people voted his ass out. He's a lawyer now selling people out the rest of y'all gonna get the same thing god gonna get y'all the street justice gonna get y'all because y'all a bunch of racists and then you negroes is a bunch of sellout negroes peace be still